Hi guys, welcome to the next part of Next.js 13 tutorial series. This is the sixth part. Uh, in the last video, we talked about creating different kinds of files like loading, not found, error files. And uh, for showing the loading file, uh, we created this get data function. So in this video, we'll be talking about how you can call API, get the data from the API, wait for the response from the API and load it on the screen. So let me first run the project on the browser again. So now project is running. Let me go to the browser and refresh. And here you will see there is a loading visible for two seconds. And uh, that's because I manually set the timeout and it's going to return this resolved data. That's why it's showing. Now let's remove it from here. And here I'm going to create a function and that will be the async function so get notes data and inside it i'm going to use a wait fetch and i'm going to paste the url from the json placeholder which is an online public website that provide the different apis for testing okay so i'm going to paste this url it's going to return me few to do's these are the notes as well so it will call and wait until the response is returned and it will be received over here so then i will check if the notes are not found then i will throw an error right otherwise i will return notes.json okay so we have returned this thing now this function is already written this line i'm going to modify this line over here so now i'm going to write const notes equals to await get notes data right and i'm going to remove this data p instead i'm going to write first of all let's me remove it from here and bring it below the main tag okay and in this i'm going to create a ul and then i'm going to write dot map i hope that you already know these things this is to iterate because this notes containing the array of objects right and react actually provide us a function dot map which we can use to iterate through different uh items inside it different objects inside it and show each of the element inside it in a respective ui that we are going to add over here all right so here i'm going to add the arrows and inside it i can write key key is required otherwise we'll give a warning so this li is a key and then i'm going to write note title okay so it's giving some errors so first of all it's not finding the title so since we are using the typescript in our next js 13 project let me create an interface that i'll be using for each node so node and this is going to return an id of type string an id of type number then it's going to return title and lastly complete it okay and here i can set the type of notes which is an array of note okay so now what it's going to do is it's going to call this function and this function is to call an api it's going to wait until the api returns some data if there is an error it's going to throw an error otherwise it's going to return some data so it's going to wait until the data is not returned in this notes uh, array so here let me check the syntax over here so it's returning so it's actually let me add parentheses over here okay so one thing actually it's not a curly braces it's the parentheses over here right and i'm going to close it with this curly braces 
So now it's going to iterate through each of the object within the nodes array that is going to be returned from this API and it's going to give me node and the index okay and within the map function we are supposed to add the key and each li tag or any other tag that we can use inside the map uh, we have to uh, add the key to it and then we are going to print the nodes dot title okay so i think it will work for now let's save this file and it's going to return so you can see that it's already hit and if i go to the browser here you guys can see that it's returning all these response okay so this is the purpose of map function we cannot write li tags a lot of times we can also load uh, a different component like node uh, i hope that you already know react or the previous version of nextjs uh, that uh, we can even load the component past the different props like node and in that child component we can uh, show the node right so there are few concepts inside it that I would like to share like this is uh, calling this function okay and it's going to wait because await means that don't go to the next line until it returns the response okay so if there were another await over here like const uh, products and then await and then it's going to call another function then this is going to wait for this to return some data then it will move to this line right so nextjs actually give us some recommendation let's say that we have another line uh, let's say we have the two more uh, functions written over here one is returning the to do's other is returning the products okay so let's say that we want to have these notes we have these notes let's remove a weight from here and we are storing the reference of it next is products equals to get products data okay so it's not existing currently just to show you some idea so next yes give us some information that how you can render it so here if we need to wait for this then it's going to call this function then it's going to wait for this to be called so if there are so many lines then we have to wait for all these responses from the apis it will take a lot of time okay so what next just recommend is, is to use the promise all function that will run all the async await api calls and all the functions at once okay so let's say that these two functions so for that we won't be using await instead we will keep the reference of functions like this okay and once we have got the references to it we can receive both the data like the nodes data and then comma products data and then we can use the await promise dot all and then we are going to pass the references of this to the products dot all okay currently just ignore this error and what it will do is it's going to call all the functions get notes data and if there are these functions as well even more than two functions all at once so it will be called uh, asynchronously okay so this is how you can achieve and decrease the response time of the api calls so i think that's pretty much it for this video in this video we talked about calling an api return some data and how to show the api data in our html in the next video we are going to talk about very important topic which is the client side rendering and different types of pre-rendering like the static generations dynamic generation through server side rendering and we will be analyzing this node.next folder that if we generate our component from the server side or the static generation what happens to this folder okay and i will be explaining each and everything in the depth so guys if you like my video and the tutorial series of nextjs 13 make sure you hit the like button and don't forget to subscribe my channel thank you so much for watching